How long can LeBron James and the Cavaliers get away with coasting? Sports News Online With all due respect to the Los Angeles Clippers, it became very apparent very quickly that the Cleveland Cavaliers had no interest in winning their nationally televised game at home on Thursday night. The CAVs came out reaching on defense, racking up fouls both legitimate and questionable, admittedly yet managing to keep things close for much of the first half. Shortly before the end of the second quarter, however, Cleveland rolled over. The Clippers entered the break with a 12-point lead, and they never looked back to check on the lackadaisical CAVs during a 113-94 win. One second half sequence was particularly devastating and illuminating for LeBron James squad. With just over 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter and Cleveland still within striking distance, Kyrie Irving put his head down and went to the rim. He missed a contested layup, and the Cavaliers watched as Dean Jordan got an easy bucket in transition the other way. On the very next play, LeBron bricked a relatively open jumper early in the shot clock, and J.J. Redick and Jordan ran a two-man fast break against minimal resistance, bending in an alley OOP dunk for the big man came over it. Then there was that whole J.R. Smith kerfuffle the game before in Milwaukee, when the Cleveland shooting guard decided that a Bucks inbound pass was the perfect time to greet Jason Terry on the sideline, giving up a wide-open layup.